A few months ago, I was learning this thing called Manim. It's a Python library that lets you create cool animations using code. And I realized that I had to install it through the terminal. Actually, I needed to install a bunch of things through the terminal. There are even cool Mac commands that you can enable only through the terminal. Like this one that removes the delay when the dock appears, or this one that stops your Mac from going to sleep until you close the terminal or press Ctrl C. Or this one that says something with a robot voice. What the hell is this lol? Anyway, once I had everything installed, I then realized that I still need to navigate my Mac with the terminal if I wanted to export these animations with a transparent background. How to export animations with transparent background? Use the minus T CLI flag. Minus T CLI, a flag, the. This whole sentence made me realize that I have no clue what the terminal does or what it even is. So naturally, I thought that learning more about it would be nice because it would add to my skill package and also make me look cooler since I could do this. Yep. The first thing I learned was that I can open the terminal and type see these nuts. It stands for change directory. By the way, folders in the terminal are called directories. Super fancy. And if I say desktop, boom, I'm on my desktop. It says it here. Now, if you forgot where you are, type in PWD. It stands for print working directory. This command will always tell you where you are if you've lost your way. Now, we can't really see what kind of folders or directories are on the desktop folder. We just know that we're here. Type ls, which means list, and it will list out all of the directories that are available to mingle with. Sometimes it might say this, and that's because the terminal doesn't have full disk access in the security settings. Now, to go back, type cd, change directory, space, two dots. Now if I do pwd, I'm in my home folder. By the way, when you start the terminal, that's where you are by default. So cd and two dots went back to the parent folder. Also, you can't cd straight into a folder on your desktop if you're not on the desktop, at least for now with this limited knowledge. Of course, if you know your file structure, you can also go multiple files deep. So cd desk and then tab to autocomplete to desktop, then slash your mom. And now I'm inside your this folder. Now what if you're inside some random folder like downloads and you want to go straight to somewhere else? If you know the full absolute path, you can get there from anywhere. Absolute means straight from the root folder, which in macOS is this slash. If I click command shift G and type in slash, it will take me to my root folder. Everything else on my computer starts from this folder. So for example, I'm in my downloads right now and I can say CD slash for the root folder users slash dog slash desktop slash the folder name and it will take me there no matter that there's no desktop folder inside my downloads folder. And there's also a rookie way to do this and it's to type cd and drag a folder that you want to get to into the terminal. Very cool. We know how to do the navigation. But how do we do some disruption? You can create a new folder with mkdir. Stands for make directory probably. And then name the folder whatever you want. And it pops up on the desktop. Now I can cd into that folder as well. Let's do a new file. For that, there's the touch command. Also the file name, Shrek, and the file extension. Let's do a txt file. There's a new file. We can open it with open and then the file name. Wow, I don't like this file anymore, so let's delete it. To do that, let's say rm stands for remove and shrek.txt. Now if I do ls, the folder is empty. But this command deletes files right away without any bin shenanigans. So be careful. Now what if you want to remove the folder? Let's move up one directory with cd space dot dot. Now we're on the desktop. And say rm for remove and dash r for recursive. This means delete everything that's inside a folder and the folder itself. And then the folder name we want to delete. And it's deleted. What you saw there was that these commands also have various options. For example, you can say ls and then dash l to give you a list of things, but with more things about them. Okay, caused some disruption. Now you can type clear to clear out this mess. And if you want to reuse the command you used, you can use the up or down arrows to cycle between previously used commands. Quite handy. Now you probably realized that we're doing stuff with text that we can do way easier with the mouse cursor. So what's the difference? Two words. CLI and GUI. CLI stands for command line interface and GUI stands for graphical user interface. 
Huh? The graphical interface is the one that you and I are used to. Folders, buttons, icons. But the terminal has the CLI, which means that you can control your OS using text instead of icons and buttons. It's like a keyboard and touch screen. Two different ways to interact with your power station. After I learned all of this navigation stuff, I was finally able to export my animations the way I wanted to. When you run the animation code in VS Code, this terminal thing opens up and then you have to navigate to the location of your file. So I can do cd downloads slash manim, since that's where I saved it, and then type manim-t for transparent, then the name of the file and the name of my scene, and it exports with transparent background. Great success. By the way, if you want to learn how to create animations with code, I made a beginner's course about it. I'll link it in the description. But also, when I was learning to move in the terminal, I came across some cool macOS commands. A few I mentioned before, say, type in whatever you want, this one will remove the delay between when the dock hides and shows itself. I prefer to keep my dock on the left side and hidden because it takes up space. And I can open apps through Alfred or Spotlight. The dock is useful though when you want to drag something into another app, like an image into Photoshop to quickly open it with it. And you can also undo this command with this command. Kill all dock. This one restarts the dock. If you change an icon of an app and it doesn't update in the dock or the dock is stuck, you can use it to refresh it. Caffeinate. This will prevent your Mac from going to sleep until you close the terminal or press Ctrl C. This lets you change your default screenshot file type from PNG to JPEG. You can change it back by saying PNG. This adds a spacer to your dock so you can separate apps if you use the dock frequently. You can remove the space just like any other app. Network quality shows your Wi-Fi upload and download speed. This sometimes gives different results compared to doing it in the browser and I don't know why. Oh, and there's one more secret command that I forgot to tell you about. Psych. 